welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology. Today's video is going to be about setting up VNC client access. So, as you know, if you've used Proxmox at all, you have standard VNC access through the web terminal using no VNC by just pressing the client button on the web interface. But what if you wanted to use a machine, a virtual machine, without accessing the client interface? Say through a standard VNC viewer or even a thin client. How would you do that? Well, that's what this video is about today. The first step in setting this up is going to be to select the server that your VM is housed on. And then you're going to select shell in the upper right hand corner of that server. Now that you're in a shell interface, you're going to open nano at the path shown in this picture in front of you. Now, where my cursor is at the end, highlighting the period, you'll see 100. You're going to enter at 100 the ID number of the virtual machine that you want instead of 100 and press enter. You'll get a screen that'll appear that looks very similar to what you see above the three lines of comment and the one command that I have entered here. What this command that I have entered, ARGS colon space slash VNC zero dot zero dot zero dot zero colon 77 does is it tells the Proxmox server that this VM can be accessed via an external VNC client from any IP address using port 5977. Whatever number you put at the end of the colon is added to the default VNC port of 5900. So by placing 77 at the end of this command, we change the port to 5977. Now, if you had one system with a fixed IP address that you would like to be able to access this VNC, you could just enter the IP address of that system instead of the zeros. Your last step is going to be to access your new system from a VNC viewer. Here is a short video of me accessing an Ubuntu desktop VM using a VNC viewer on my Mac. Now keep in mind that the server that I am using is a development server and it is fairly low spec, so my experience is going to be fairly laggy. You with a good server, or maybe even passing through a video card, will not have the same experience. So we're starting the server. You have to make sure it's running before you can do this. Now I enter the IP address of my Proxmox server, not the VM, with the port that I have set up previously, 5977. As you can see, this session is unencrypted, but you can see Ubuntu is booting.
Now these extended periods of black screen is some of the performance issues I mentioned. This is another performance issue and they're just due to the specs on my server. But you can see we're able to interact just fine considering the performance specs with the server without using the web interface. I hope you enjoyed today's video about setting VNC client access up. I hope you find it useful in your endeavors with Proxmox. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Every subscription helps Virtualize Everything get closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Meeting our goal of 1,000 subscribers means YouTube will begin monetizing our videos. The monetization means that Virtualize Everything will be able to afford more equipment to bring you better, informative projects and improve the quality of your videos. As always, have a good night.